just the zines are just a terrific way to introduce the whole media concept of critical thought about media, the differences between uh, mainstream media and so-called underground media, the difference between corporate culture and independent culture, uh, and zines are, are an amazing portal into that whole phenomena of getting people to start thinking about how, how media comes to them, how it's made, and how they can make their own and, and to respond in, uh, in different ways. Well, I brought a bunch of zines. I'm going to show everyone different kinds of zines, talk about the sort of content that can go in. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to uh, discuss uh, different approaches for introducing zines in the classroom, and I'm going to, you know, get people hyped up. I mean, the great thing about zines is they're tactile and they're like hands-on, so it gets people excited once they start to make something and they have this actual thing that they can show their friends, their family, teachers, whoever. It, it, once you start to make a zine, you realize that it's completely different than putting up a blog or having a Facebook account, uh, that you really have this feeling of having made something, which I think is kind of becoming... Uh, because it's becoming less common, it's also becoming kind of more uh, more desirable for people, and people are kind of returning to the craftiness of it and all that kind of thing. And and the 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 whole I think idea of kind of here's something where you don't have to go to a corporate for-profit website to do. Uh, you know, this is just take a piece of paper and and a stapler and so you know, and you're you're good to go. And I think that's part of the zine's appeal. It's simplicity and it's it's almost complete removal from mainstream pop culture if you want that 